It's Sunday afternoon, August 10th, about 1.30. I'm on my way from Aitutaki in the Cook Islands to Suraro Atoll, also in the Cook Islands. About 380 miles from Aitutaki to Suaro. Passage so far has been pretty nice, except for the first night. I didn't have any wind for about 10 hours, and it was real lumpy seas. So I wound up using the motor and bounced around a lot. Didn't go very fast. But otherwise, it's pretty much just been uh, like what you see right now. The wind is in the high teens. Uh, surprisingly enough, once again, from the east-northeast here in the South Pacific. Seas are... Uh, pretty much about six feet. Every once in a while a couple eight footers will sneak through from the east. Wind waves are from the northeast. The temperature has climbed significantly from Aitutaki to this position. Uh, probably a good 10 degrees Fahrenheit and I would say the ocean temperature has gone up about six or eight degrees Fahrenheit. So maybe when I get to Suaro I'll be actually able to go swimming in the lagoon. Um, as beautiful as I Tutaki was, the water was just too cold for me and I didn't have any kind of a wetsuit so I wasn't going to go in the water and go swimming around. Plus where I was anchored there was a constant one knot current which means I'd have got it washed away from the boat pretty quick unless I was constantly... Still Sunday, May 12th, about 2.30 in the afternoon now. Up ahead of me, that's the main Motu of the Suaro Atoll. Off to the right perhaps you can see there's another very small Motu and most of the lagoon and the other Motus that are uh, visible are off to the left in the picture. This main little island is about uh, at the two o'clock position if you consider 12 o'clock north. Uh, the, the atoll itself is fairly circular, but far from being perfectly round. I don't know if there are any other boats in the lagoon. I can't see any masts from this distance. I see a couple of markers out there, and I'm wondering if they're range markers or some kind of navigation markers. The last time I was here, there was nothing like that at all. Uh, navigation was simply uh, go through the pass and watch out for the couple of spots of reef that are uh, inside the lagoon immediately when you get through the pass. Uh, very easy to see, however. Wind is still steady, blowing 15, 18 knots, something like that. And the seas are still pretty steady at uh, about six feet. Generally speaking, a beautiful uh, tropical day, kind of typical here in the South Pacific. Some puffball clouds there. It's Tuesday morning, the 12th of September, and that is Suaro. Well, actually, the whole place is Suaro. I don't know what the name of this particular Motu is, but that's the main Motu. There's a Cook Island family, husband and wife and four young boys that are the caretakers and live here through the season, which is about six months. You can see the beautiful light green water, like right down here, where I'm anchored. That's about 10 or 12 feet of water. You can see the uh, coral heads all over the place. This is a uh, hard coral, so my anchor is basically just laying on the bottom and is hooked on a coral head. That's what's keeping the boat stable. There are five other boats here. I believe that's an American boat, and beyond it is a Swedish boat. The dark blue boat is a German boat, single-hander. And the smaller of those two boats is a French boat with a couple with a young baby. And uh, the other folks, I think, are uh, perhaps also German. As you can see, it's absolutely a gorgeous lagoon. With uh, You can see the light green spots here and there. 
Later today, we're going to take a dinghy to trip over to that mo too. A bunch of the folks here, and uh, John and his wife Veronica, who are the caretakers. So, at well, this is uh, Thursday morning, I think, and that's a view looking north across the atoll to another one of the Motus here at Suvorov. Here's a view across the lagoon from the main island. Another boat came in yesterday, so now we are six and we're expecting a couple more to arrive in the next couple days. I uh, had a bit of a squally afternoon yesterday, some pretty strong wind and very hot, heavy cloud cover and some intermittent rain showers, but today it's turned into uh, another beautiful day. A nice little shack there on the beach for folks to get together. Sometimes we have cookouts up here on the beach potluck. Here you can see the waves breaking on the coral reef. The last couple of days it's been pretty windy so there's a good sea running out there. Obviously not the thing you want to look up and see if it's to lured of you. That's the, uh, one of the other Motus that we went to the other day on our little excursion. And that Motu you can actually walk to from here across the reef when it's low tide like it is now. Of course the tide isn't very much, only about 18 inches. Across here, of course, it's all quite shallow. Most of that water is not even knee deep. And then the light green color it gets about 10, 12 feet. And there are the six boats at anchor.